What's up, everybody? King Triple C here, the Olympic champ, the flyweight champ, and the bantamweight champion of the world. Anyhow, you guys stay tuned, and you guys don't forget to hit up Artem MMA Analysis on YouTube. Because if you don't, you guys can all do me a favor and bend the knee to King Triple C. Okay, so for this next fight, we've got Joshua Weems, who was actually a uh, a replacement, and he is fighting Fernie Garcia. Now, Joshua Weems' most recent fight was actually on Jorge Masvidal's promotion, Gamebred FC, which is Bare Knuckle MMA. Seven of his eight wins have actually come by submission, and uh, he's got a couple of Bare Knuckle boxing fights as well. Um, he's pretty flashy on the feet, and he's not really too afraid to throw. He's constantly moving, uh, whether or not it is forwards or backwards. If he gets taken down and he's on his back, he's always working to improve his position, and he's always looking for a submission as well. And um, if you watch this fight against Joel Scott, sometimes Joshua Weems gets pretty close to a submission, and Joel St Scott kind of decides that he does not want to be on top of him anymore and uh, decides to stand up. So it'd be interesting to see what happens in the fight considering... Fernie Garcia actually has a very heavy wrestling base, which we will get to in a minute. So, if he, yeah, once again, if he gets taken down and he's on his back, he's always looking to improve his position, and he's always looking for a submission. Seven of eight wins by submission, one decision win as well. So, he's, he's known to be a finisher, but he's not known to be a knockout artist. He's known to be a guy that is able to get the submission. So this is a pretty nice armbar there. Almost got him in the Charlie Olives, um, Tony Ferguson armbar there. But we'll move on to the next one. We've got Froney Garcia here. And uh, Froney Garcia, he possesses a pretty decent wrestling base. And he trains out of Fortis MMA. He's not a finisher. Six of his nine wins come by decision. And three of them come by submission. But his stand-up is actually pretty good as well. Especially his boxing, which I think has actually... Um, is his best is his best part of of his striking game. Um, but if you watch his fight against Ryan Hayes, he's actually very susceptible to leg kicks. And if the fight plays out on the feet for a while, I think Joshua Weems really will look to try and exploit this fact. But uh, what's so interesting about Garcia's game is if you watch his more recent fights, he's uh, he seems to be more than happy fighting on the feet, which is kind of strange because this is one of his older fights. And in his older fights, he's uh. He's kind of going for the decision. He's kind of just grinding out using his wrestling base. But if you watch some of his newer fights, um, especially that Ryan Garcia fight and also his most recent fight, unfortunately I forgot the the name of his opponent. Although he takes him down quite a few times. Yeah, this guy Isaiah Barton Gonzalez. Although he takes him down quite a few times, um, still most of the feet takes place in the um, most of the fight takes place on the feet, and he's happy to stand and trade with Isaiah. Uh, Gonzalez in that fight so it'd be interesting to see what happens I actually don't know if uh, he will be going to his wrestling if he'll be going to his striking I would favor Joshua Weems in the striking department and the wrestling department I would definitely favor Froney Garcia as you can see he's just out wrestling his opponent in this fight here and uh, that's how he's won most of his most of his decisions to to be fair but uh, we'll see what happens man maybe Weems finds a submission and maybe he submits Froney Garcia, this fight is pretty much 50-50 for me, I actually don't have a strong opinion either way, Froney Garcia could go out, wrestle his way to a submission, wrestle his way to a decision, or maybe we see a one punch knockout from either guy, even though either guy has never got a KO, but uh, I'm leaning on the side of the fence that is the Joshua Weems finds a submission while on the ground, I think that if Froney Garcia makes one or two mistakes, I think Joshua Weems will be able to find some sort of submission and will be able to get a submission off his back in this fight. But I just want I've just got to make it make it pretty open here. I actually don't have a strong opinion either way. If you do, please let me know in the comments below. But I am genuinely just a little bit unsure um, the result of this fight. Maybe by the time that my shorter prediction video comes around, I'll have a much more solidified opinion. But at the moment, man. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm in the minority here. I've got uh, Weems, and I have him by submission. Seems like um, a decent amount of people picking Weems have him by submission. A lot of those picking Garcia 
have him by decision, which is fair. He is on a four-fight win streak, and I believe all four of those wins are decisions. Yep, split decision win, unanimous decision win. And uh, on the other hand, we've got Joshua Weems coming off that decision win on Gamebred FC, a split decision win, that is. But uh, he was on a two-fight submission streak there. Actually, he was on a... Like a six fight submission streak, five fight submission streak. Um, I didn't really count, I just kind of guessed. Anyway, I've got Joshua Weems submission, but this is a close fight, man. Could go either way. And uh, both guys, pretty good records. Both guys, pretty good contenders. And definitely guys to look out for if either one does make it into the UFC in the bantamweight division. Alright, going to make this as fast as I possibly can. I just want to give a shout out to Fanatics Fantasy MMA. They're an app on iOS and Android. And, um... Man, you join my group, I've got a public group on there, and what you do is you pretty much make your picks and predictions, so maybe you're really confident in Jan Blahovic by KO, maybe like Piotr Jan decision, just something like that, you can join my group, and if your picks are the most correct and you become part of my leaderboards, once you join the group, you will be in to win some money, I will be giving out $20 to first place of the month. $10 to second place of the month and $5 to third place of the month. So if you're really good and you're able to get first or second every single month, you're pretty much getting your UFC fight pass paid for you. So um, yeah, definitely worth uh, joining. You can be in to win some prizes as well and uh, really trying to build up a little community inside this MMA league and you will be competing against other people in the league and comparing your picks with others as well. So if you're really confident in your fight picks but you've got nothing to really compare it with, Join my MMA league now and you can also be in to win some prizes with those picks.